All right, Austin, I'm going to show you just a really simple thing to practice uh, a rhythm and a lead thing. And it's, it's a major scale, kind of a country deal. Um, but it's very easy playing. It's something you need to learn. It's The rhythm is an alternating rhythm. And that means hitting a D chord. This is in D. And I'm just going to go over D right now. After you get this, we'll go to the four chord, which is G. And the five, which is A. But first, let's just do D. So he hit the open D string. And then the chord. And then the open A string and the chord. It's alternating. That's called alternating rhythm. That's one, five, one, five, one, five. And that's what the bass player would be doing. He'd be going. And the guitar player is going. And I'm just doing. But you can just start by going. And that's four, four time. Um, and then I'm going to show you a riff that goes with that. So you just learn this rhythm. Now, we talked about box positions and the pentatonic scale last time you were here. Um, these are just real simple boxes. Here's a box. So it's a rectangle shape. Four notes. That's why it's called a box. So this is a major pentatonic box, a series of them. So the riff I'm going to show you is just this. You're you're starting on the A note on the bass string on the fifth fret, hammering to the B note, and then playing the D note on the fifth string. to this box it's the same notes on the seventh and ninth frets on the D and G string so we're going to do this you're connecting this box with this box and there's your connection now you're in the second box Practice that. Practice that rhythm. And practice this box. And this box. And then practice how to get from one to the other, which in this case is... Once you've got that kind of mastered, we'll go to the four chord. But get the D part first. Have fun.